Welcome to my food forest. And today we're going to be liberating this fruit from this tree. And this is a special fruit. This fruit was turning yellow as of a day or two ago. And so I'm going to take it off the tree and let it ripen a little bit before I try it. But what makes this particular fruit special is that it is a hybrid that I did of a Nona Arvaflora with a Cherimoya Atomoya mix. And so this is a much bigger fruit than most Anona Parvaflora are. Hopefully when I grow this guy out, we are going to have a new hybrid of either some Atomoya or Cherimoya inside of Anona Parvaflora. While this particular fruit may not be the most exciting thing, what's possible from it is. The really cool part is what's going to grow from the seeds of this. I might have mentioned this fruit is larger than any of the Anona Parvaflora that I've gotten before. That characteristic is Metazania. Anona is one of those cool fruit where the pollination does actually affect the size and shape of the fruit, although it does not affect the flavor of the current fruit, just the size and just the shape. So when I cut this open, I expect it to be pretty seedy, not that much flesh to seed ratio, but the flesh is delicious. It's kind of like a pumpkin candy. So when I cut it open, that's gonna be pure gold for me. Because when we plant these and they germinate, in probably less than a year, I'll be able to look at the leaf structure and see if there's something different about the leaves. Parvaflora and Cherimoya, two very different leaf structures. So if I get something in between, that's gonna be pretty amazing. It's like hybridizers out there have crossed Cherimoya and Reticulata, and there's this cool fruit called Cherlata, where you can tell the leaves are different. They're not purely Reticulata. There's some characteristics of Cherimoya. It looks more like Reticulata than Cherimoya, but they do well in Southern California. Parvaflora does well in Southern California. So anyway, hoping to combine all these. Let me stop yapping now and let's cut it open. As expected, pretty big seed, not a lot of flesh, but as delicious as I thought. It's kind of like a watery, jello-y pumpkin flavor. I know that may not sound great, but it is. What I'm finding interesting is this particular one is a little bit more snotty like Rolinia or the lemon meringue fruit. The texture of this one is a little bit different than the all the other parvifloras that I've had before. And because it's a bigger fruit, there is a bit more to eat on this than all the previous parvifloras. And yeah, this is super exciting. So make sure you like and follow for more.